Hello students! For today's video, we will use another method in solving rational equations, and that is through cross-multiplication. This is how cross-multiplication works. If we have this equation in the form a over b is equal to c over d, where a, b, c, and d are numbers, variables, or algebraic expressions, then we can say that upon cross-multiplying, AD is equal to BC. When can we use this method? We can use this method if our equation involves one single fraction in the left and right-hand side of the equation. Rational equations using cross-multiplication, let's follow the following steps. First, simplify the equation to get it in the form A over B is equal to C over D. Next, use cross-multiplication to rewrite the equation AD is equal to BC. Third, solve for the unknown variable. And lastly, check the solution since there are extraneous solution or values that arrive upon solving but do not satisfy the given rational equation. These are the three examples that I'll be going over. These examples are similar to the examples I gave in my last video, which is solving rational equations using LCD. Let's try cross-multiplying so you can compare which method you prefer in solving. Let's start with the first one. Solve for x in the given rational equation, 2x plus 1 over x plus 1 is equal to 3 over x plus 1. First step, the equation is already in the form a over b is equal to c over d, where a is 2x plus 1, b is x plus 1, c is 3, and d is x plus 1. Okay, so second step is to use cross-multiplication to rewrite the equation. So now our new equation is the quantity of 2x plus 1 times the quantity of x plus 1 is equal to 3 times the quantity of x plus 1. So let's solve the left-hand side of the equation using FOIL method, which stands for first, outer, inner, and last. Okay, so... First is we need to multiply the first term. So we have 2x times x, that is 2x squared. Then multiply the outer 2x times 1, that is positive 2x. And then multiply the inner terms together. So we have 1 times x, that is um, simply x. Okay, And then Multiply the last term of each expression together. So that is 1 times 1 and that is positive 1. Okay? Now, um, I just use different colors to help you identify like terms. Okay? So that's it. And on the right-hand side of the equation, let's apply a distributive property. So we have 3 times x, that is 3x, and then plus positive 3. Okay, which is uh, 3 times 1, that is positive 3. Okay, so combine like terms. So on the left-hand side, so we observe, we've observed that 2x plus x is equal to 3x. Okay, because there is a 1 here before the coefficient x. And then, um, we could, uh, as observed, there are still like terms in both sides of the equation. So let's apply the transposition method. So we'll transfer all terms from the right-hand side to the left. So upon transferring, uh, signs are changed. So that is from positive 3x, it becomes negative 3x. And from positive 3, it becomes negative 3. And since all of the terms on the right-hand side of the equation is transferred, then it is now becomes uh, 0. So we have now... Um, 2x squared minus 2 is equal to 0 because, of course, 3x minus 3x can be cancelled. This is just equal to 0. And then we have 1 minus 3, that is negative 2. And then our new uh, equation now becomes 2x squared minus 2 is equal to 0. We can 2x squared is equal to 0 plus 2, wherein we transpose uh, negative 2 to the right hand side of the equation and then we have 2x squared is equal to 2 and then we have here to get rid of this 
coefficient 2 from x squared, we need to divide both sides by positive 2. And then we have now x squared is equal to 1. So to get rid of this uh, squared, we need to do or we need to have the square root. Okay, So this will be cancel the square root and uh, the square, uh, squared or the exponent 2. So we have now uh, the answer of x is equal to positive or positive or negative 1. Okay. Now let's check if our values of x, which are positive and negative 1, satisfies the given rational equation. So let's start with x is equal to 1. So substitute the value of x to the equation. So that's it. So when substituting, we arrive an answer of 3 halves in both sides of the equation. Thus, we accept the, values, uh, the value of x, which is positive 1, as a solution to the given rational equation. Okay? Let's try x is equal to negative 1. Substitute the value of x to the given equation. So upon substituting, the values on both sides of the equation is the same. But as observed, the denominators are equal to zero. So what does it mean if a number is divided by zero? So this means that uh, uh, the number or these fractions is called undefined. So thus, we reject x is equal to negative one. Napakasakit pa naman i-reject. So here, the value x is equal to negative one is called an extraneous solution. So this solution emerges from the process of solving the equation, but it is not a valid solution because it makes the equation undefined. So in this uh, rational equation, only positive one is the solution to the given rational equation. Let's have the second uh, example. Solve for x in the given rational equation. 1 over x plus 2 is equal to 3 over x plus 1. Okay, so following the steps, first we need to simplify the equation. So our equation is already sim uh, simplified and in the form a over b is equal to c over d. Okay, so next thing we're going to do is to cross multiply. So we have 1 times x plus 1 is equal to 3 times the quantity of x plus 2. So let's operate this one. So we have, we, okay, so we know that any number, variable, or expression multiplied to 1 is just the number, variable, or expression itself. So we have x plus 1, and then on the right hand side of the equation, we can apply distributive property. So we have now 3x plus 6. Okay? So let's combine like terms on both sides. So we have, we can do transposition, we can have transposition method. So we have x minus 3x is equal to 6 minus 1. Okay, so x minus 3x is equal to negative 2x since there is 1 here. Um, or the coefficient of the variable x is 1. So we have 1 minus 3, that is negative 2. Okay, and then 6 minus 1, that is 5. And to get rid of this negative 2, we can divide uh, both sides of the equation by negative 2. And our value of x now is negative 5 halves. So let's check if the given value of x satisfies the equation. So substitute negative 5 halves to the equation and then simplify. So since negative 2 is equal to negative 2, then x is equal to negative 5 halves if a solution to the rational function 1 over x plus 2 is equal to 3 over x plus 1. For our last example, Solve for x in the given rational equation, 7 over x plus 2 plus 5 over x minus 2 is equal to 10x minus 2 over x squared minus 4. Based on what I've said, cross multiplication can only be applied if single fraction exists in both sides of the equation. So as observed in the left-hand side, there are two algebraic fractions exist. 
So the equation now is not in the form A over B is equal to C over D. So what should we do? So we need to make this two algebraic fraction into one. And how? So in this case, our denominator is different and completely factored. Thus, we can just use these two expressions, x plus 2 and x minus 2, as our denominator. So here, okay? And then next is, multiply the numerator of the first algebraic fraction by the denominator of the second fraction and place it before the operation, which is addition. Okay? Then next is, Multiply the numerator of the second fraction by the denominator of the first fraction, and the answer is here. Okay, place it after the uh, operation. Okay, and use distributive property. So we have 7 times x is 7x, and then 7 times negative 2, that's, that is negative 14, plus uh, 5 times x, that is 5x, then 5 times 2 is positive 10, okay? And then by using FOIL method, you can also um, multiply these two binomials. So we have x times x, that is x squared. And then x times negative 2, that is negative 2x. Then 2 times x, that is positive 2x. And 2 times negative 2, that is negative 4. Then combine like terms. So we have 7x plus 5x, that is 12x. Negative 4 plus 10, that is negative 4. So copy x squared. So negative 2x plus 2x, this is just equal to 0. So the remaining is negative 4. Okay? So our new expression now is 12x minus 4 over x squared minus 4, which is still equivalent to our original uh, expression. Now, using our new expression, we can perform cross multiplication since the equation now is already in the form a over, uh, a over B is equal to C over D. Now let's cross multiply. So we have now the quantity 12x minus 4 times the quantity of x squared minus 4, which is equal to the quantity of 10x minus 2 times the quantity of x squared minus 4. So based from this equation, so as what you've observed, x squared minus 4 appears in both sides of the equation, right? And the operation in both sides is also multiplication. So meaning we can just cancel x squared minus 4 in both sides of the equation. No? So if you're wondering why I cancel this out, so let me give you an example of which uh, it used also the same concept as this. So if we have, uh, let's say, 2 times 9, that is still equal to, of course, 18. So we can also write it uh, 18 as 2 times 3 times 3, right? So since uh, both sides has, uh, has a factor of 2 and it also uses uh, multiplication, so I can also cancel 2 here. So is 9 is still equal to 3 times 3? Yes, definitely. So that is the concept I use here in this equation. That's why I cancel also x squared minus 4 in both sides of the equation. Okay, so the remaining equation now is 12x minus 4, which is equal to 10x minus 2. And then uh, combine like terms. So we have 12x minus 10x is equal to negative 2 plus 4. And then 12 minus 10, a uh, 12x minus 10x, that is 2x, and then negative 2 plus 4, that is positive 2. Okay, so divide both sides by 2, and we have the value of x, which is equal to 1. Let's check if x is equal to 1 is a solution to the given rational equation. So just substitute, then simplify. Okay, so... Since it is equal, it's negative 8 over 3 in both sides of the equation, then we can accept 1 as a solution in the given rational equation, 7 over x plus 2 plus 5 over x minus 2. 
is equal to 10x minus 2 over x squared minus 4. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.